Our daily devotional reading this morning is entitled, I will set no wicked thing before mine eyes. I will set no wicked thing before mine eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside. It shall not cleave to me. Psalm 101 verse 3 All should guard the senses, lest Satan gain victory over them, for these are the avenues to the soul. Avoid reading and seeing things which suggest impure thoughts. Cultivate the moral and intellectual powers. Among the most dangerous resorts of pleasure is the theatre. Instead of being a school of morality and virtue, as is often claimed, it is the very hotbed of immorality. Vicious habits and sinful propensities are strengthened and confirmed by these entertainments. Low songs, lewd gestures, expressions and attitudes deprave the imagination and debase the morals. Every youth who habitually attends such exhibitions will be corrupted in principle. There is no influence in our land more powerful to poison the imagination, to destroy religious impressions, and to blunt the relish for the tranquil pleasures and sober realities of life than theatrical amusements. The love for these scenes increases with every indulgence, as the desire for intoxicating drink strengthens with its use. The only safe course is to shun the theatre, the circus, and every other questionable place of amusement. There are modes of recreation which are highly beneficial to both mind and body. An enlightened, discriminating mind will find abundant means for entertainment and diversion from sources not only innocent but instructive. The great God, whose glory shines from heaven, and whose divine hand upholds millions of worlds is our Father. We have only to love Him, trust in Him as little children in faith and confidence, and He will accept us as His sons and daughters, and we shall be heirs to all the inexpressible glory of the eternal world. Taken from My Life Today, page 91. Our reading this morning is very thought-provoking and one thing that quickly comes to mind how can we avoid some of these things spoken of here the images that are in the theater are no longer just in the theater just walking on the road we see some of these same things however we can go back to the reading and it says i will set i will set no wicked thing before mind eyes so there are some things we are not going to be in control of completely i can't control the the things necessarily that i see on the road but i have greater control of other things another thing that comes to mind is the scripture passage that says abstain from all appearances of evil abstain from all appearances of evil as found in 1st Thessalonians 5 verse 22, the King James Version. Now, another thought-provoking uh, thing was, is the theater of E.G. White's day now replaced by things such as YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, and other such uh, social platforms? We don't have to physically go into the theater to see some of these things anymore. They are right there on our phones, on our computers, on the TV, in our house. Many of us, if not all, have fallen short where this is concerned. Where do we go from here? How are we going to truly become cord cutters? Loving Father, Eternal God, we want to thank you for this reading. I pray that you will help us to become cord cutters, 
to cut from our lives those things that we ought not to be engaging in. Bless us to this end, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.